What's up guys, Tiago here, and today I'm going to talk about deploying your Vue.js application to a static website in Azure. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got the Vue CLI installed. So from the command line I can type view create, and I'm going to create a view static Azure. So that's going to create a brand new application uh, using the Vue CLI. And I'm going to use these to deploy to Azure. All right. So I'm going to use one of the um, presets that I've got, which is using the view um, router, Vuex, Babel, and Yeslint. All right. So I'm going to use this one. So it's going to restore everything that needs to restore, and it's going to be ready to go. All right. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the Azure portal, and I'm going to create a new storage account. So let's have a look. Okay, so here in the Azure portal, I'm going to click on that plus button and I'm going to look for the storage account. I'm going to create. All right, so one thing to keep in mind here, the uh, storage account with the static website is still in preview. Actually, the static website is still in preview. And for you to use that, you have to select the storage V2 to be able to work which is the default right now, all right? So I'm gonna create one called View Static Azure, just to map to the name of the application that I've got. And I'm just gonna select that to something more I'm gonna put it later. And that's it, I'm gonna create that. All right, so my storage account is now ready, so I can go there and click on Go to Resource. And while I'm here, I'm just going to open the Storage Explorer in my computer, okay? All right, so just to quickly check, I've got my View Static Azure storage account, as you can see. And if I go in here and check the blog containers, there shouldn't be anything in there, okay? So there is, there are no containers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Azure portal again, and I'm going to go to static websites on the left hand side. All right, I'm gonna click on enable. And there are just two things that I need to do here. I need to set which document is gonna be opened when you go to that URL, and is there, is there any errors which document it should go to. All right, so since I'm using view, and I'm gonna use it as a spa, as a single page application, I'm going to point the two of them to the same place, which is the index.html, all right? And what that means is, if I try to go to a route that doesn't exist in the server, it's going to fall back to the index.html. And that's going to be great because using routing in a spa application, there won't ever be, be a file or folder uh, in the server. So it's going to all fall back to the index.html and the client application is going to handle the routing. Okay, so I enabled and I'm going to save now. And then I've got this URL. So I, if I copy the URL and go to the URL, um, the static website should be working but there won't be anything in there. Alright? Alright, so what I need to do now, I need to Go back to my view application, um, compile and deploy. All right. So back to the um, command line here. The application is now finished, and I'm just going to go into the folder, and I'm going to try to run just to make sure everything is working as expected. Okay. So the application is now running. So if I go and try to hit that URL you're going to see that I've got the application running. Um, it's localhost 8080, and I've got even the navigation here. So you can see that in the URL I've got about, and if I go from that URL, go straight in, it still works, all right? So in some cases, depending on where you deploy and how you deploy it, you have to set up um, some IS, IIS rules to rewrite the URL. So you make sure that if that path doesn't exist in the server, it should fall back to index.html, which is what we are doing in the static website. Okay? All right, so now what we need to do is we need to get this app 
in that storage account. All right. So once I enable the static website, I'm just going to go back to that Azure Storage Explorer. She's one, uh, and I'm going to I'm going to refresh from here. And you see that we have a couple of containers now. We have the um, dollar web container and dollar logs container. So the content of our web application is going to be in that um, dollar web container. Okay. All right. As simple as that. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to stop this now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a npm run build, which is going to build the application for production. Okay. All right, so my application is built now, and let's go to the folder and check what's there, all right? So I'm going to open that with Explorer. And you know, what I'm expecting to see here is the this folder, which is distribution folder, this folder here, all right? So all I need to do now is copy the content of that folder into the storage account, all right? So I'm just going to drag and drop in this case, and that should copy everything across. All right, so now it's completed. Let's go back to that URL that you had before, and then let's refresh to see if um, the application is now there. All right, so this is the one, and I'm gonna refresh this, and I should have the view JS application, which is what I have. All right, so one thing that I want to test here is the navigation, that routing that I was talking about. So I'm gonna go to about, so the routing should work because it's all client side. But if I go to this um, about route and refresh, that still works, okay? Awesome, uh, I'm not gonna cover the CI and CD pipeline in this post, um, in this video. You can go and check the post and see how it's set up. It's pretty straightforward, okay? So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.